Hello everybody and today I'm going to be playing Adventure Up. So just a quick disclaimer before we actually start. Um, sorry if the microphone is super horrible because I cannot connect my headset. Like I cannot use the headset microphone at all. I don't know why. It's pretty annoying so I'm actually using just a microphone but this microphone is pretty bad that that's why i had that's why i haven't really used it but anyways enough of that i would try to fix it in the next video or so but today we're going to be playing adventure up once again i'm super extremely sorry for not uploading for like the longest time it's because in roblox there's not much game to play on roblox anymore but honestly, I found this game called Adventure Up, and it's actually really fun. And I've been playing it a lot. Um, but yeah, anyways, let me go ahead and show you guys what this game is all about. So, let's go ahead and click play. And this is my character. Yesterday, um, they had like this Christmas event, I believe so. And you were able to get like this free outfit, this free weapon costume um, this game actually has cosmetic so let me go ahead and show you guys all of it so right over here we have the upgrade station where you can go ahead and upgrade your weapons and all that stuff I haven't really um, look like I haven't really explored like everything yet so I'm not really sure what you can do with upgrade but it's upgrade it's an upgrade spot so I would assume you upgrade your weapons and stuff but the more I know about this game, the more I'll tell you guys more about it. But over here, you just have your bank where you can go ahead and store your items, coppers, and ores. I'll show you guys how you can get minerals and all that stuff in a bit. But over here, you have the cosmetics. As you guys can see, they have the, I would say, Assassin's Creed, a Scarecrow, a Joker, and I'm not really sure what that is. Let's go ahead and check it out. This is the cosmetics. It's just cosmetics. It's just to make your character look cool. You're not going to get any benefits from it. But yeah. Well, I think you're not going to get any benefits from it. I'm not really sure. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, you got all these cosmetics, which looks pretty cool. Yesterday, they had the Santa outfit here, which was for 500 diamonds. I didn't have enough, so I wasn't able to buy it. But today, I logged in and I was able to... I was able to get 500 diamonds, but unfortunately, the Santa outfit was not here anymore. So, uh, yeah, it's Explorer. I'm not sure if I said Explorer, but yeah, it's Explorer. We also have the De Defiant, Ashen, oh, Ashen, whatever, Scarecrow, and all that stuff. And over here, we got the weapons. Once again, th this is just to make your character look cool. I don't think it has any benefits to it. And then you got the Icicle, or Scythe. I I'm sorry, I cannot talk today. Frosted and school and then you also got all these type of haircuts faces hair color and um, Titles and if you buy the game right now, um, I don't know if I mentioned this The game is in beta and it will come out on January 1st And if you buy the game right now before the first you can get this um, title and it is a beta tester title so when you equip it it's gonna show that you're a beta tester so if you guys want to go ahead and get the game if you guys want this title because I'm pretty sure you're not gonna get it anymore once it came up once the game comes out and we also got Jolly from yesterday which is the Christmas and I'm just gonna go ahead and equip it because I just don't want anything there moving on over here we have the crafting station where you can go ahead and craft weapons um, here you have like you can craft copper board bars not boards. Oh my goodness. I cannot talk today I'm super sorry and to get copper ores you need to go mine them. I'll show you guys that in a bit But yeah, you also got your copper dagger and you need to level up to be able to craft more items So let me go ahead and show you guys um, its professions and You need to level up your crafting your mining and your wood cutting so you need to level up your mining to be able to mine like the better ores to be able to craft the better items so yeah it's pretty simple i'll show you guys that in a bit over here we have the buy and sell where you can buy items 
Um, you can also sell your items, which is pretty cool. I'm just gonna go ahead and sell this, for example. Also, uh, a thing that some of you guys might not know yet is that you can select multiple items. At first, I didn't know, and I just started like selling one item at a time. But you can actually select multiple items at the same time. They also got game passes if you guys are interested in that. And these are just to buy potions and stuff, which I don't really know what it's for. But I guess it gives you a boost if you actually read it. You don't actually have to go to the store to actually buy it. You can just go ahead and click on this quick shop and it will pop up here. And yeah, as you guys can see, it gives you extra accuracy for 15 minutes and all that stuff. But it costs diamonds. So, moving on over here is the dungeon. If you don't want to walk over here, you can go ahead and press the dungeon button and it will teleport you to the dungeon area. Once you're at the dungeon area, you can find a match, play with people, or you can select your difficulty over here. Or, I'm sorry, 2 minute wars. Anyways, you can click on customs and make your own. So, you can choose your difficulty, but you need your level requirements. And for example, if I choose normal, you can make it public so people can join you, friends so your friends can join you, invite so you can invite your friends or people in the server, I, I think, and I'm assuming. Or you can go in solo. Once you go in solo, your game will start right away. Once you go in public, you're going to have to wait in the lobby like this. So before we go into an actual battle, let me go ahead and show you guys um, the mining and stuff real quick. It's right over here. And they're adding something new. It's up in this church or whatever. Um, but it's coming soon. So I'm not going to go up there and show you guys. Because it's it doesn't work right now. There's nothing up there for now. But this is the explore area. As you guys can see. It says level 1 through 10. I'm pretty sure you can join any of them already. But it's like there's, there's monsters there that you have to fight. And you might not be able to fight it. So I'm just going to go ahead to... I'm just going to head to Pleasant Valley. Actually, I'm going to the Lost Ruin because I need to get the different ores. So it's a good thing I'm showing you guys this too because I really need to go get ones. So yeah, it's going to load and you're going to pop out here into the game. There's enemies here, like I said. And where is the mining station? You have to look for it. So this is my first time being in this area and it looks really cool already oh it's in here i see somebody mining already um yeah you can return to lobby anytime and right over here oh sorry about that right over here you can go ahead and just mine it'll do the mining for you um as you guys can see it's way slower um in this area but if you mine copper it's gonna mine like really fast for you so Yeah, so you guys basically get the gist of it, like what this is really all about. The mining, it, it's going to respawn really quickly too. But yeah, basically that's how you mine. And you can also chop trees in that area. Um, so let me go ahead and show you guys the crafting now. So let's go ahead and smelt that ore and see what we can get. I mean, we can't get anything because our crafting level is not high enough. But I'm just showing you guys an example. So, as you guys can see, I'm not level 8, so I couldn't, like, my crafting level is not 8. So I can't make the copper, copper, I mean, not copper, iron ore yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and make something random if I can. So, I can't even make something random, so I don't know. If you guys really want to see, I'm going to cut the video right now just to show you guys real quick. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I went and I went to the first road or the first exploration that you can do just to show you guys how it can look like. Um, so yeah, when people chop the tree, it's gone for their their point of view, but it's still there for you. So, so as you guys can see, I'm chopping it really quickly. I'm not really sure if it's based on your level to be able to chop this fast, but yeah. So we needed some wood. We also needed a few more copper. So let me go ahead and get that real quick. It does look like it's based on your level to be able to mine really quickly because I don't remember mining this fast. So let me go ahead and get a few copper and a few wood and then 
Oh, no, 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 no. Um, somebody activated a booster. That's why we're doing it really quickly. As you guys can see, there's a booster over here that's for one minute. I mean, two minutes, basically. And, yeah. I think once you use it, everything goes by really quick. So, it's activated by Glad Hands 1. Glad Hand 1. So, yeah. This is basically it. You can also defeat these monsters. They also give you XP. So, if you guys are interested in that, go ahead. And I don't want to bore you guys, so I'm just going to do this real quick and cut to the part where I'm at the crafting station. So, yep. Alright guys, so we're back. Um, this is the crafting area now. I went ahead and got a lot of copper bars and all that stuff. So what you can do is just increase it by 1 or you can do the whole stack. So here you guys can see I can craft 10. But it's going to take some time. And it's going to craft faster the more, um, the more items you put. It's going to start crafting faster and faster. So you don't have to wait for like a very long time. So as you guys can see, I'm leveling up a bit. We have to be level 8 to be able to craft the other items, but I don't think we're going to reach that. But anyways, um, you can also check the stats for the weapons and all that stuff. So, um, let's go ahead and try to craft something. Um, let's see here. I guess we could just try to craft this. We can only make one of it. That did give us a lot of level, but it looks like we don't have a lot of wood, so we won't be able to level up a lot. But yeah, if you're into this crafting, you can go ahead and explore all that crafting all you want. But yeah, this game has really a lot of things that you can do. I still haven't really finished what this game has to offer, so let's go ahead and continue. I'm just gonna go ahead and sell these because I have better items already. Let me go ahead and show you guys my character's stats right now, so... I have all these items. It's mostly uncommon, but I actually got lucky and got a rare item. Alright, so let me go ahead and show you guys all the other things the game also has to offer. So, if you head over to your ability, you can also be 3-3 three, three row. You can be a physical, support, or magical. You can choose any any of these three. For example, as you guys, as you guys can see, I am choosing a lot of physical, and I choose a little bit of support and magic. You can also reset your points any time, but it does cost money. And the more you add points, the more it's going to cost. Um, I'm mostly using passive because these are pretty good, but if you guys are me, I don't recommend choosing just passive because I'm not really sure. I think you guys should choose some abilities too, but it's really up to you guys. You guys can go ahead and choose whatever you guys want. Um, I think my next... My next um, point that I'm going to use it for is for support because I really do want the shield and I do need some health so I do tend to die a lot when I'm fighting the bosses so yeah and then for the prof profession which I showed you guys earlier already and over here you got your players that's so in the game you can also check your friend list over there this is just your character like I told you guys before you can also check your Cosmetics, which we have. Your inventory. And you got your settings. Alright, so enough talking. Sorry for explaining for super long. Now, we're really going to get into the game now. So let's go ahead and click on Dungeon. Custom. Create Party. We're going to go in Solo. Um, I feel like I'm not ready for Skyling yet, so I'm just going to go ahead and go to Crystal Cavern just to show you guys how it's actually like when you guys are playing the game for the first time. So, I'm basically going to be one-shotting or killing them in one hit. So, um, yeah, but for you guys, when you guys first start, it's going to be quite a struggle. So, if you guys have a friend, I recommend playing with a friend because my friend, he helped me, like, get to level 5 or something like that and I was able to solo it myself from there I think I'm not really sure but that's just an example okay guys <laughs> anyways um, yeah go ahead and click start and your game should start now um, let me show you guys something real quick so if I remove the cosmetics for the festive I'm actually holding two swords not a sword and a shield so you're attacking like this but if you're using the sword and this you're fighting like this so yeah, the cosmetic does make things change, but it doesn't change how you fight. I mean, it doesn't change how um, how strong you are.
and as you guys can see, your experience point is up there. It shows you when you're gonna level up. And it should open. So what I person personally like to do, I like to gather them up and kill them all at the same time. So for example, if you go straight, you're only gonna get one and you're gonna have to click again. So what I like to do is go to the side so these two can follow me and I do this. It's just a thing I do, but you guys can plan your own strategy. And for this part, I don't walk straight, I walk to the side so these three can follow me and I can attack them in a row. Now remember, if you guys are starting for the first time, I do not recommend you guys um, gathering them up like I'm doing because it's going to be really hard when both of them are attacking you at the same time. You will be losing a lot of health, so I don't recommend gathering them up. But as you guys can see, I'm just hitting them in one hit, so they're not really getting a chance on damaging me. They are, but it's still, it, I'm only taking a little bit of damage. This one, I just like to gather them all up and hit them all at the same time so it can open the door for me. Sometimes it misses, so. And we got an uncommon item, which we can sell because it's weaker than the items that I have right now. So as you guys can see, there is a timer up here. You do have a certain time limit to beat the stage, but it's really easy. And when you when you die, you actually get revive again, and it doesn't quit the game or anything. You can just go ahead and just try again and fight the same enemy. So yeah, um, it's pretty easy. Alright, so what I like to do at the very end here, I like to gather them all up and hit them at the same time. Once again, if it's your first time and if you're low level, I do not recommend this. And I spam F and it should open that real quick for me. And we're, we are moving to, to the boss, towards the boss. And I believe once we defeat the boss, I think we should level up since we only need 100 more ex experience points. You can just jump if you're impatient, but the door's not gonna open until it reaches the bottom. This is the boss. Um, you want to defeat it as fast as you can because when it jumps, it's gonna do a really big damage to you, and it's basically a one shot. So once you hit it like to 165, you won't be able to damage it anymore because it's gonna do this, and then you should be able to defeat it now. And we got wooden guards. So, after that, you're done. You completed the dungeon. You can go ahead and click return to the lobby. So, from that battle, we actually leveled up to level 12. And we're able to get a new skill. So, let's go ahead and check out the skill area. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention is there's daily rewards. It's pretty cool. Um, so, tomorrow, I will be getting 100 gems or diamonds. But yeah, every day you log in, you get gems. I mean diamonds, not gems. I mean, basically a diamond is a gem, so. Alright, so this is the ability, so let's go ahead and check it out. Spin around, dealing a total of 181 damage over 2 seconds. Set your weapon on fire, dealing more extra damage. Increase your defense of shield and offhands. 
by 5% so I don't really use a shield so for me I wouldn't really get this uh, but this gives you a shield absorbing up to 60 damage for 10 seconds so from what I heard this one's really good so I'm gonna go ahead and get it as you guys can see the it increased so this one gives you a shield and when the enemy attacks you, you don't really take damage. As you guys can see, you have like a little mini shield here now. But yeah. The weapons that we use again will it increase. Oh no, it doesn't increase. Okay. Alright, so that's basically the game, guys. Um, yeah, so over here you have the balloon ride. It only costs 10 gold and you will be able to ride it. I mean, you will be able to look at the view of the city. I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys real quick. It doesn't move. All you do is just sit up here and that's it. Oh, you guys, look, there's a castle up there. Oh, maybe soon an update. But anyways, right over here, you also got a time trial. And basically what it is, is you have to beat your current time, I believe. Find and run through all the checkpoints for a premium reward. Personal record, none. Reward, five. So yeah, you guys can go ahead and do it. I haven't done it yet, but maybe in the next video, I will show you guys what this thing is about. But if you guys are interested in this game and you guys are thinking about getting the game, go ahead and buy this game. It is extremely fun. That's really all I can say, you guys. And, um, yeah, well, you guys don't really have to get the game now because it's coming out soon. But really, if you guys want the beta tester title, then I would say get it. But if not, you guys should wait. Um, it's only 50 Robux. It's not that much. So, yeah, it's really worth the 50 Robux, in my opinion. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys are getting the game or not. And yeah, I'll see you all next time.